you already know what that means. Yeah. I'm here, family. I'm here. Yeah, good Sunday. It's a good Sunday. Good Sunday, no doubt. Good Sunday to you, family. Thank you. Appreciate it. It's a little dark back here. A little dark. Yeah, I can still see me. I got on these white pants for you, family. Come on in, family. It's a little dark here, but you can see me. We'll make sure it works. Sister Tracy, I see you. I see you. Here we go. Tai Chi 13. Original 13. Tai Chi Original 13. Yep. We back. We back at it. Live and direct. Coming live and direct from the house of Tai Chi. Come on in, fam. Yo. Ha. That was seafood. He always shows up. Hey, brother Jeremy, what's up? How is it? How you doing? Glad to see you today, my brother. Glad to see you today. I'm very happy that uh, at least a small amount of our. Uh, our people, our family, soul group, are actually um, serious about the training family. I'll tell you why I say that. Because it's a very common occurrence inside of the uh, Tai Chi world. And I can only speak for the Tai Chi world. Hey, greetings. Hey, Brother Sebastian, how are you? I can only speak for the Tai Chi world. But a very common occurrence that takes place inside of the Tai Chi world is students uh, are always coming and going. Meaning that they aren't really uh, dedicated to the practice. I don't know, everybody has their own reason for being involved, of course, and for some people it's a, it's a hobby. And I'm cool with that, I understand that. And some people it's more than a hobby, you know, we just, we have various uh, reasons for embarking on the Tai Chi journey, as I will call it. But for me, it's more than a hobby. It never was a hobby for me. And you know, we all have our own paths. So, hey, Sister Heather's here. So with me saying that, I'm not sure if you ever sat and actually thought about what your purpose was or what your purpose is, your purpose for actually um, partaking in the Tai Chi. But if you have never thought about it, I would definitely encourage you to do that, you know. Ask yourself, why do you do it? What do you want from Tai Chi? Maybe it's just a, a good exercise, you know, and that's perfect. It is a damn good exercise. Now, with that being said, the exercise won't uh, be as beneficial if it's not a daily routine, meaning that we have to do it on a, a routine basis, like anything in life. Anything in life that we uh, choose to become better at, we have to have repetition. And in Tai Chi Kung Fu world, we call that Gong Fu. That is the repetition. We have to have repetition. And every day is better than once a week. Every day for 20 minutes is better than one hour per week. That's just the way that it is. You know, if you're looking to get real benefit from the exercise. Now, if you're just looking to socialize or something, yeah, just meeting on Sunday is cool. Perfect for that. So, so I want to ask you, family, do, do you have a... Um, do you have a daily routine? And that's kind of a rhetorical question because everybody has a daily routine of some type. 
if you think about it, because we're creatures of habit, right? Right, if you go down the street, you can probably see the same car pass by about the same time every day and not even know who it is, right? But what's really important about that daily routine is our daily routine helping us become a little bit better than we was on the day before. You know, a daily routine with uh, intention, conscious mind. That's what's really important, right? Anyway, welcome back, fam. Good to see you all. I just thought I'd put that out there. And also, if you have not picked up Master Liao's book, for those that are serious about the practice and wish to get more out of it, you know, just then uh, socializing. As I said when we first met, this is the Tai Chi Bible family. One of the Tai Chi Bibles. Anybody that's serious about gaining any health benefits, any um, meditation benefits, health for the mind, this book should be part of your um, collection. All right. Brother Jeremy says, I'm consciously working on my routine in order to turn it into, right, there you go, my brother. That's what we do. So you, at least you have that conscious, you're putting that conscious effort in there to actually put together a daily routine. That's what's important, one that benefits you. Yes, I'm back to it, last few days in nature. Nice, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Right, so some of, some of us have a daily routine that we've actually put in place already. It's not just a routine that just happened to fall in place, right? That's good, family. And there's nothing wrong with socializing, don't get me wrong. You know, we're social, social creatures. And um, being isolated just doesn't serve us well. <clears throat> I want to share one small, I say small, but... Um, Tai Chi teaches us to be patient, so, and it also talks about uh, concentration, the development of our concentration. You know, one, one reason that most people come to Tai Chi and they don't really stick with Tai Chi, I'll tell you one of the primary reasons is because Tai Chi is a slow process, a slow developmental process. And society is, um, has been, I'll say, trained um, all of us, you know, we're, we're looking for a quick result, quick fix right now, like the drive through you know. We're looking for something right now. And if it doesn't happen right now, we get bored and we go looking for something else. This is, what mo this is why most people come into Tai Chi and they leave. They go running around looking for other things. And then when, when we're together, you know, we have to have that deep concentration. And... When you start having the deep concentration and you start getting the feedback from your Tai Chi practice, see, then, then you won't want to run away because then you'll start seeing the benefits. But it takes time, it takes practice, it takes involvement, it takes full concentration. So if you're just showing up and just looking to hang out and just socialize, you're not going to get the same benefits, family. It's just going to be a social event for you. And I like to ask this before I get started. Hey, look at Brother Ollie then snuck in. The medicine man himself. Good to see you, good brother. But let me ask you this, family. We're all getting older. We're all aging. And my big goal is to age well. When I get old or older, I don't want to be a burden on my children or on my wife because I didn't take care of myself. Is that fair for them to have to deal with that? My messy body that I did not take care of and now I can't do anything and I'm half broken down and the whole family has to go through that trauma? That's selfish, man. That's just, that's just freaking selfish, man. Sometimes we gotta take a reality check. But that's me, family, and I'm serious about, about loving my family and leaving them in a good place. So, concentration development. It says here, it says, in attempting to be good at Tai Chi, one should focus on mental development. The monkey mind got people running around, busy, doing nothing at all, getting nothing accomplished, just running around and feeling good about it. That's it. Gotta develop your mind, family. It says, if one has tried all the proper practice steps and has failed to achieve substantial progress, 
it is probably due to the lack of concentration, not my words, family. We got a YouTube page, Tai Chi 360, with so many videos in there. Somebody had enough nerves to say that it was old information and I nearly dropped a microphone. There's a library of information over there. You can pick up and train any day. You should always go back and train that stuff again. People looking for, some, looking for new stuff. This stuff is not new. It's been around for thousands of years. You see what I'm saying, family? So I'll be honest with you, family. I am only interested in people who are willing to invest into the practice. That's it. That's it. And that's where I'm going to put my energy at. See, the reason that my Sifu, Master Ron, he, he, he went away from public teaching. And I know why. Because people was wasting his time. I'm not going to give people my time if they're not going to put anything into the practice. I'm not. But I'll give it to you, Soul Group. I'll give you all my time. Oh, and it makes me feel good when I give it to you. Oh, I love it. Because you give me the feedback. You're practicing. You're making a difference in your life. Okay, let me carry on family. Concentration development. It says, one may be sincere and dedicated to the Tai Chi principles and still not pay attention to what should be done. Gotta pay attention to all these details. I'm spitting out nine million details. You're not gonna get these details from other places, family. Very few of us share the details that I share with you, trust me. Very few. It says, once while chatting with me, Chin Man Ching, you know who Chin Man Ching is, right? He was chatting with Master Liao. And Chin Man Ching criticized his own students. He says, students are not paying attention to what they're doing wrong. He says, they were not concentrating on the proper material. They're not concentrating on the proper material. You see, I'm going to close it. It's a lot here to read, family, but teachers such as myself who've dedicated our lives to this, I mean, there's really no excuse. There's no excuse. We, I don't want to hear it. I put everything on the line for it. So I really, I'm not interested in, in any of that, you know. Let's, let's get in, fam. Let's go. Welcome back. Yeah, I was a little bit, I was a little turned off when I heard someone say, that the information inside the Tai Chi uh, 360 YouTube page was old. And I'm like, they're definitely not getting it. They are not getting it. Old? Ha! Huh. This information is thousands of years old. Let's go. Let's bow in, family. Oh, I love you, no doubt. Settle the mind. Settle the breath. Let the mind sink down into Dantian. Let go of all of the garbage. Don't bring anything with you. Nothing to criticize, nothing to analyze. Just being present. That's Tai Chi. Letting go. Feel your body, feel your heartbeat, feel the pulse in your palms, feel the pulse below your bottom of your feet. Relax your pelvis and hips. Extend your crown point. Relax your chin. Breathe from the belly with deep diaphragmatic breathing in and out of the nose. Tai Chi 13 is our focus today. Let's begin with an exhale and the body begins to descend down. Every detail matters, ma'am. Inhale up, inhale. This is the offering of self. This is self and universal self combining as one inside and outside. Feel the earth chi as you run your fingers through the dirt. Inhale, pull back. Gathering the earth chi on both sides. Combining earth and the sky becomes one. 
very soft fist covered with the shield. Don't touch the hands. Don't squeeze the egg. Very soft fist. Inhale on the way up. Nice, long, deep, relaxed breath. All the way up. Just like that, fam. Now, good. When you get here, look. Make sure you're bringing those hands in. The hands continue to come in as if you were poking into your own solar plexus. Right. And that helps you get the turtle back. Rotate the hands and separate left and right. And then exhale. Fingertips are leading on the descend. Fingertips are leading all the way down. That's a proper bow. Took a lot to get there. Let's go right into up and down form, family. This one you know already, inhale. Listen to some of the little simple things that we can do in order to get our imagination and visualization more involved. Feel the earth below the palms. Inhale, feel the earth below the palms. All right, inhale. Exhale, still feeling the earth chi. Feeling the earth chi. Let's focus on that fam, Lao Gong points. The points and the palm points. Inhale. Keep going just like that, fam. Don't stop, okay? At your pace, I want you to find your breath and continue with this same simple, simple movement. The first movement from the Tai Chi posture here is up and downward form. Remember, as you point out to infinity here, the fingertips extend out. Your weight is on the front third of your foot and then it begins to transition back towards the rear part of your foot, the last third. And it actually goes through you, the force. So imagine a force passing through your body and then it comes back in through the rear of your body. These little small intricacies, these little details, they're gonna help you feel your body more and to feel your surrounding, surrounding more. Right, how do you fit into your space? That's what it's all about. Becoming one with the space. Now here, let's do a little um, girdle, girdle belt turning. Just to warm up our midline with long and short hand. Remember how we worked the figure eight? Right, fam? On the bottom of the feet. All right, these are things that can always be worked. There you go, out. Out to the horizon and then turn. Only turn here until you get to the corner, family. Not too much, right? And then trace that line straight down inside of that corner. And then back in. Using your tailbone as well. The tailbone, the tip of the tailbone. It's also tracing that line. Right. That's it. Back of the foot. Down the heel. Across the center. Passing your midline up. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Don't stop. As you turn, I want you to focus on as if you had a belt around your waist. You know, that belt channel is actually turning. Right. Work on that. And here's another one, family. As you turn to your uh, right side, I want you to look out of your right eye more towards the right. As you turn to your left, I want you to look out your left eye more. And just pay attention to how adding that visualization, your range of motion is going to increase a little bit more. But don't go past the 45. But you will feel more free to move. Play with it. Play with that and see how your body responds. Play with that and see how your body responds. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Keep going fam, warming up the belt, belt channel. Warming up the belt channel. That's it. Oh yeah, good. Good, 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 good. 
Come back to center. Here you go, inhale. Exhale down. Tai Chi ball bounces up. Palms are over each other like so. You see that? All right, let's do it a couple times. So, inhale, go out, pull back. Exhale, bounce. Tai Chi ball comes up, turn. Don't move the feet. Come back. Just flow, just like this. Bounce. All the way out. Inhale. So we have up and down with Tai Chi ball. Turn. Follow me a couple times, fam. Turn. On the way down, see? Now the up goes right into up and down. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Nice. You can just do this as a nice little practice, fam. Turn. Turn back. Bounce. Off the bounce, we go right into up and down. Now you're flowing. Ah. Inhale. Good. Pull back. And down. Nice. Nice. Bounce. Turn. Turn. Bounce. Feel your body. That's what's really important, family. The feeling. The feeling. Right. So now when it bounces, turn to the right. Remember what I said about the eye. Same idea for the eye. That's going to help us with our peripheral vision. Yes. We'll do one more on both sides and then we'll transition right into our form. How about that? Fair then, fair enough. Good. Last one, right side, belt channel. Turn. I'm gonna mention something to you all that I would, I'm gonna share it as open, just open information. Uh, when you turn, right? You got your belt channel here, right? Belt, it's just like a belt going around your waist. When you turn, I want you to imagine that you're opening up these points. It's not just a line, but energy centers all inside of the quad. As you turn, they're opening and closing, opening and closing. This is open now. So really focus on that energy exposure here. It's open, able to receive inside of there, right? Think of it as an energy center. It'll make a lot of, a lot of difference. All right, this one is closed, right? When you turn back, think of this energy center opening. It's not just a, a joint here. Every joint of the body is an energy center. Right. And then turn back. Whenever you turn, I want you to imagine that, that opening and closing inside of there. All right? All right, so let's begin from the very beginning. We're going to go through the first... Uh, as much as we've been going through before, and maybe we'll add a movement to the Tai Chi 13. Let's see how far we can get together. And be honest, if you're not getting it, let me know. And then we'll slow down, all right? Let me turn on the comments here. Yeah, let me know, and then we'll slow it down and we'll review it. We'll do whatever we need to do. So remember, this first part, family, most people forget it. Most people forget it. But don't you forget it. I was one of the people that always forgot it. And now I see other students, so I'm sharing it with you. Start in your ready position. Get in your stick man body. Crown point, tailbone, concave chest. All of the basic things. You gotta set these up right away. Get this going, right? When I say bird chest, I want you to take your finger and feel I want you to feel this space right in here, this, this, this muscle here, right? This is called the humerus, the head, 
the head right here of your shoulder, right? I want you to feel this hollow space right inside this crease here because you want that to be open. You don't want to fill that in with tissue. You want to open that space and allow it to be free and open. That's called opening the chest or opening the shoulder gate. I'll show it to you. Right here. See that? Right. So you don't want this like this. Now I can't do it. I want this. Right. That's what you want. Maintain that. Even when you lift the arms, I want you to imagine that the arms are just floating up very lightly and you're not using the muscles or force to lift. I know it's a lot of information. Here we go. So follow me, this is a ready position. I want you to remember these names, ready position. Center yourself, meaning center your mind, center your physical body, and feel that centeredness. You know, it's not just words, it's actually physical things that's taking place. And then exhale, and that tailbone begins to go down. And there is a rebound force. Follow it. And then shift over. Shift over. This is the part that people forget. Toe heel. Toe heel. This side is heel toe. The heel stays down, the toe comes up, and then shift all the way over to your left, and then back to your center. Throughout the duration of the movement, your hands are still here the whole time in the ready position. Right. Now we go right into this very common posture called upward and downward. The arms are floating up on water now. They're just floating. I'll turn sideways. They float up. This is where you want that concaveness. Right. And then inhale and begin to bring the arms back in. I just turn so you can see me, okay? We're still here. Exhale down. Begin to look to your right side. We call it glance right. And shift your weight over. Transfer your weight into your left leg. Very good. Now carry Tai Chi ball right side. Here's a Tai Chi ball developing. Good. Check your weight distribution. You should have 80% of your weight on your front leg. Or 70, something similar, something close. Now begin to move back, straight back, carrying the Tai Chi ball with you. Turn that right foot to 45 degrees carry the tai chi ball over there with you now turn it turn it turn it turn it turn it turn it right hand on top my fault left hand on top my apologies fam left hand on top because we're carrying tai chi ball left side go ahead and begin to transfer your weight left side let me come a little closer it looks dark in here today for me. Shift back. Carry Tai Chi ball back with you. The hands separate, like opening up, releasing the ball. Turn the left foot 45 degrees and then shift your weight into your left leg. Cat stance. Cat stance. Let me turn towards you so you can get a front view. A front view. All right. Pay attention to this. This is another common um, mistake. Learning curve. The angle of this arm. See, it's like a 90 degree angle here. You don't want this thing. That's too too much. That's an acute angle there. We want this. And relax your shoulder. Open that shoulder gate. The front foot has very little weight on it, family. Less than 5% of my body weight. Just a toe tapping the ground. Cat stance. I'll turn sideways now. Original direction. Now look, fam. My right foot 
touches the floor, but look, it doesn't step out like this. You notice the difference? Big deal here, big deal here, family. Don't step out away like this. Just put the foot down. Big difference. And your hands are coming like this. I'll show you from the front view again. This is what you should not do. Step out and it pulls my body away. Did you see how it pulled my body off of my back leg? I don't want that to happen. I want my back leg to stay where it's at. See? Now I move forward. But not by, not by the stepping. Get that family? So it's more than just learning a bunch of postures, but how do you do the posture? This is incorrect. Stepping away from my body. You see that? This is the correct way. Hmm. Now. Perfect. As Brother Gary said, empty step. That's what we call it. That's some jargon. How do we embody the empty step? Right? How does, how does that make sense to us? Here it is. This is being an empty step, meaning that my body doesn't move. This is not an empty step. This is incorrect. You got it now. I think I beat that one home. I think I beat that horse to death, family. Empty step. Good word. Now you know what it means. So let's go from the cat stance. We'll go a little further. Cat stance. Empty step. Here's a ward off. This posture, this hand shape. Ward off. Drifting forward. It turns into roll back. See these, these movements I've been sharing for so long. I just assume that Soul Group has these in memory already. Ward off, roll back, press and push. I assume you got those already. Just teaching you the sequence now because you know the postures already. You know the postures because you've been coming every time we meet, fam. That's how it works. You keep coming, you get it. That's press, inhale. Repetition, the Kung Fu. Now, in the beginning when we're learning, yeah, we don't have a routine, but you know what? Having a soul group and having like a little bit of accountability, that helps. Yeah, that kind of helps us out. Having a little accountability, soul group. That helped me, especially when I was even like bodybuilding. I never wanted to stand my partner up. I never wanted to stand my partner up. So I would always go just for that. And then I started getting results. I'm like, oh, I'm liking this body. And then it became a daily routine. Let's start from the beginning. Yeah, so we usually have like three people on a team, like accountability teams. And it helps. It helps. So Soul Group is our accountability team. I'm always here for you. It helps me too. Yeah. Let's go, fam. Breathe in and then breathe out. Tailbone goes down. And then we begin to sink and drift into our left leg. Toe, heel. Also, it's a good thing to say it out loud, the name of the posture. Heel, toe. Because saying it out loud, we begin to learn on an auditory level as well. Yes. We learn a lot of different ways. Here, up and down, fam. Inhale up. We're going to keep going this time. We're going to keep going. Exhale. Glance right. Carry Tai Chi ball right side. That's exactly how Sifu wanted to hear me say it. Glance right. Carry Tai Chi ball right side. Next is... Carry Tai Chi Ball 45. That's the name of the posture. Hadn't gotten there yet. I'm there now. Carry Tai Chi Ball left side. Now the ball rotates. 
Left hand on top. There you go, fam. Next posture is cat stance. Cat stance. How do we get there? Here we go. Shift back. Turn that foot 45 degrees. Shift forward, right back into the left leg. Then the hand split, they separate. This is the cat stance. Let me back up and come closer. No weight, very, very little. Now what we have here is ward off, roll back, press and push. This first one is ward off. This is ward off. Right, there you go. Now here we go, roll back fam. Roll back. These are Tai Chi's primary movements. Ward off, roll back, press, and push. You can go on the website, Tai Chi 360, and you can find a video dealing with just that. Ward off, roll back, press, and push. The way that we do it may not be the same as another video. So that's a warning that watching other videos, you may see some similarities, but you may see some differences. So you can compare and contrast. That's up to you, but please don't get confused. That's push. Now watch, man. Long and short hand. Watch this back leg. It takes this little sneaky step back. That's it. And then we shift back. That front foot comes off of the ground. The heel is down, the toes come off. And then turn, long and short hand. We've been practicing this one. See, we've been practicing these movements solo, just one movement. But now, man, you're learning, now you're learning the sequence, family. I know I was excited when I was learning the sequence. I was. I knew it was my, gonna become part of my daily routine. Single whip. Right here. I know people getting lost now. We're going real deep down the rabbit hole. Anybody got this far? Anybody got this far? Into single whip? Sooner or later, someone's going to start getting this far. We've done it a couple times. It'll take a while, but you'll get it. We just keep going over it. That's it. So this is what it looks like when you get to this part. You see that this hand is not in front of my face, but the very top of my middle finger is in direct vertical alignment with my nose. So my view, my vision, I can see over it. All right. And I'll be honest with you, family. This one posture, it has so many details in it that we got to get a one-on-one -on -one going, straight up, so I can point them out to you. I'm going to keep it real with you. If you want to learn the Tai Chi right, we have to get a one-on-one -on -one going because I have to see what you're doing. How y'all doing with that, fam? How y'all doing with that? Let me know. That way I know I need to go back or not. Soul Group's not here today. We got about five people today. Thank you all who are here today. Absolutely. I know you got other things going on too. Okay, Sister Audrey's picking it up. Sister Audrey's getting it. I want to see you in the one-on-one -on -one next time, Sister Audrey. I want to see. I want to. I want. I want. I want. I want to see you getting it right, brother. Gary's working on single whip details. Good. Also going to review again later. Nice. So you want to let me do the single whip again? Let me do that again, just to review it, and then we'll go back to the beginning and roll right through it. Yeah, I figured that losing that single whip. So single whip is what we call a splitting splitting energy, meaning to cut it in half. So our body is being split into two different pieces, if you would, right? It's the first split that we have in the form. So it also splits the mind, right? Splits the coordination, a lot of things are going on. 
So let's do it together. Let's focus just on a single whip. Single whip review, family. So the best thing that we should do is to have a little flow leading up to the single whip. So we'll go from push, good place to start from. Follow me from here, family. Right foot forward, left foot back, straight in the front, 45 in the back. 70, 30 weight distribution or 80, 20, 90, 10, whatever makes you comfortable. Don't overdo it. That's yeah, easy. Tai Chi. Push. Push, 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 push. Out to the horizon, fam. All the way out. Now this back leg has to take that drop step. Don't forget that. We oftentimes forget that, but that allows us to yield more. Right, so whoop. Controlled. Going right into long and shorthand. Turn. Notice the upward angulation of my hands. They're going up towards that corner over there. Let me move up. All right, and then they turn along that same horizontal line. And now they begin to descend, coming down. The left hand is coming down beside my left leg, right along the seam of my pant leg, if I had on pants. Or if we're studying alchemy, we should know that there's a meridian line running down the outside. Place that hand right over there. This hand, the right hand, came down, right? Now it's gonna turn and it's going to pinch. I want you to pay attention to something here. You probably never paid attention to this in your entire life. You probably never paid attention to this detail in your entire life. I'm willing to put money on it. Here it is right here, watch. Turn. I said pinch, right? So when you pinch, family, I want you to pay attention. Are you taking your thumb towards your, fin towards your index finger or, or are you bringing your index finger towards your thumb? I can't see it. I can't see it. Let me know. Which one are you doing? Yeah, it's important. It's important. We plan with space, right? We don't want to give up the space that we've already worked so hard for. Right. Even here, it's so minute. I showed you this, right? Yeah. With the pinch, okay. Yep. Usually both. <laughs> you already know. What you go what you working with, family? Bringing them together simultaneously. More thumb to finger, actually. Boom, yeah. Somebody, somebody. Right, and there's a method to the madness. So don't retreat. Don't retreat. If you pull your thumb, your finger back, you're retracting your finger. Dig it? Brother Jeremy dig it. Brother Jeremy dig it because his thumb is going towards his finger and his finger is not coming towards his thumb. He has separated these into split, which is Tai Chi's first split. You got it. You got it. Single whip. Split. There's a small Tai Chi ball in there, family. There's a small Tai Chi ball in there. Take your thumb towards your index finger. Don't pull your index finger away from where it's already established. So imagine this, fam. If your hand was here touching a wall, right? This is going to be the whip hand right here. This is the wall, right? I don't want to pull my fingers off of the wall and create space. I want to keep my fingers touching the wall and take my thumb towards the wall. It's just that serious. Does it make sense, Sam? Does that make sense? Now that's a hell of a lot of detail. That took me a lot of practice to get that. Thank you, Sifu. Mm-hmm. 
He told me to give it away. He told me to give it away. So that's what I'm doing. Anybody getting it, family? I'm giving it away. Did that make sense? I just came up with the perfect analogy. Somebody got it. Boom, Tracy got it. Okay, yes. I'm happy, so good starting to get it. Yup, and the wrist folds too. Yes. Mm, yes. So Groot's getting it. Yes, it does, Brother Gary. Now you just open up a whole nother can of worms. So Groot, tell Brother Gary thank you. Because he just took y'all somewhere. And we probably weren't going to get there. So as Brother Gary said, here we go, family. Here's the wall. The book is the wall. The book is serving as the wall. My fingers are touching the wall. I don't want to take my hand away and create space between me and my opponent, per se. I want to keep that space, right? It belongs to me. I go in with my thumb, but what happens, as Brother Gary says, the wrist, this activates the points in your wrist. You just activated the points. Well, you didn't activate it without a conscious effort. But now that I'm telling you, you focus on the wrist points being activated in single whip by bringing the thumb towards the index finger. You can feel it if you pay attention to it. Just imagine the energy right here, opening the energy gates right here, right there. Thank you, Brother Gary. You didn't even know where you were headed with that one, did you? You work hard for it, you deserve it. Thank you, Soul Group. Let's go through it. Single whip is a beast. I love it. Let's go, let's do it again. Let's go from push. I won't stop this time. I gave you, I gave you the, the, the details. Well, Brother Gary led you there. He most certainly did. Push. All the way out the fingertips. All the way out to the horizon. Make sure this front leg has the majority of your weight when you take this little, this little, watch this back leg. Watch it. Did you see my body? Did you see my body? My body stayed in place. It didn't move. It didn't do this. Yours shouldn't either. It takes work. Watch. Watch. Mmm. Yeah, silent the body when you take that little step back. Very important, family. Very important. It's soft and subtle, this Tai Chi. This is long and short hand. Long and short hand. Here it is right here. Boom. The hands are flat. All the way out. I feel that already. So here, yeah, look, family. How do we go and get that pinch? We just worked on it. Boom, when I do that, look at that, it's like Spider-Man. Spider-Man shooting the webs out. You just activated that wrist point. Yeah, now you're working with something. Now you're working with some chi now. So you go from here, right? And then when you pull back, look at the wrist. You seat the wrist. You seat the wrist. Oh man. That's what I'm talking about. And then take a step. This comes up like this. This movement, this Tai Chi movement, single whip, it's difficult to learn in person. So I know that it's a struggle for you. Trust me. I'm working with students now in person and it's a struggle for them. But we're gonna get it. Even on the video, we're gonna get it. So now here, this front arm, let's pay attention to that. It's flat, not this way. Not this way, this way. It's like the ward off. We're gonna get it. Now shift forward a little bit. Now watch this little baby turn. It's not much. Look. That causes the arm to flip upward. And then I do the baby turn back. You see that? All right, let's just do that. Just that part. Coming from here from here. So turn, 
Don't turn too much like this. That's way too big. It's way too big. It's so small, family. It's taking place right in here. Really small. And that causes the hand to flip up. And then back here. Three times the charm? Okay, we'll do that. Three times the charm. Flat ward off. So when you turn here, that's the ward off energy. And then it goes sh shooting up out the fingertips. Out the fingertips. Boom. What about the angle of the front arm? The angle here. Once again, we don't want to have the, an acute angle here. This is too much, right? But if I put this out more and I can see over it, tip of my nose, tip of my finger, now I'm getting closer to where I want to be. Closer towards the 45, maybe a little less, but closer towards that. There you go, family. Also watch this. This arm rotates in just a bit. So it has a little inward rotation towards my midline, in. A lot of details. I got, I got another detail to give you on this back hand, but I'll wait for that because that'll be overwhelming. I'll give it to you later. Shall we run it together all the way through as a group without me talking so much? Huh, that could be a challenge. But I'll give it a go. I'll, do, I'll give it a go. I'll do my best not to talk so much. Let's start from the beginning. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's been a while, Soul Group. Been what? Last Sunday? Yes, please. All right. Let's go. I'll start on this side more. I'll start over here more. Okay, let's go, family. Start here. I'll just call out the names of the postures so you can hear them, okay? And I'm hearing them as well. I'm always learning too. I want you to start saying them out loud. It's gonna help you. So start with that exhale, fam. Letting go, releasing, and then remember the rebound force. Sends us into the left leg. Toe heel. Toe heel, right leg. Heel, toe. Left leg. Center yourself. Center yourself. Upward and downward form. That's it. Glance right, carry Tai Chi ball, right side. Carry Tai Chi ball 45 degrees. Carry Tai Chi ball left side. Cat stance. Cat stance. Ward off. Roll back. Press.
push. Toe heel, back leg, watch. Toe heel. Long and short hand. Single whip. How was it, family? Check this one out, family. Yeah, the front hand should be aligned with the knee. Sister Pam asked, yes. So I said I was not going to give you this last detail, but I am. I'll give it to you. Here it is now. So... Once you form the whip, the, the whip, right? This is the whip. The other hand, like this, this is the split. So single whip is a whip hand and a splitting hand together, those two things to make the posture. So now what I'm going to reference is back to the uh, whip again. So remember when we were touching the book, right? And I said, don't retract away from the wall don't lose the space by pulling your finger back. So this concept plays the same here with the whip hand. I'm using this to show that there's a vertical axis that runs up and down, right? So this whip hand, once it stabilizes and finds its vertical axis, it should not move. If it does move, very little, less than a half of inch. I'll show you what I'm talking about right now. And you can just watch and then I want you to come back and I, run, I really want you to work on this part of the whip because this makes it an internal movement and not an external movement. I'll show you why. So here we are. This is the whip hand, right? And I'm here. I'm getting ready to take this step getting ready to come here now this is an error I'll show you the error first watch my back hand you see everything moving you see this right it moved with me it followed me it should not follow me let me show you hey hold it for me one one second just hold it right there for me so I'll go from push I'll show you what I'm talking about, but I want to make sure my body is aligned somewhat decently before I do it. So here it is right here, fam. Boom, bring it right here. Bring it right here, good. So here it is right here, right? This should not move now. This should not move, but I haven't completed my whip. So how do I do it? I didn't look. Did it move much? Did it move much? Not much. Not from when you started turning. All right, so it's a little off, but not much. It's not quite as vertical, maybe off about a quarter of an inch. If that, yeah. Right? But you get the idea, family? This did not do this. It barely moved. Barely moved. See, this is something that's going on in the form that someone is looking from the outside they won't see that, but it's very important to developing the form. Right, we're getting down to the nanometer now. So you see why I don't want to waste my time, family? You see why I don't want to waste my time with people who come and go? Because I put too much into it, family. And I'm giving you everything that I put into it. That's why. 
Let's bow out. You're very important. Let's bow out, fam. So group, thank you for coming here today. Thank you for sticking around. Those of you who have stuck around for the entire flight that we took today, we back. Tai Chi 13, so much we went over today, family. Excellent review, excellent review. So let's settle our mind back into our center. And I shared a tip with you in regards to helping you retain the information mentally. Immediately after we get done, just run everything through your mind real quick. Just run it through whatever we did today. That's it. That's going to help you. All right. Exhale. And then bounce back up with the bounce, the rebounce. Open the Dantian, lower and middle. You can go as high as you want, fam. All the way out. And then go ahead and connect with the earth. Pull the palms back, the wrists back. Since we started working on activating the wrists already, that's what the single whip does. It helps activate our wrist points. Absolutely. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you, Sifu. Thank you, Soul Group. I see you in there. I see you, Soul Group. Exhale. All the way down. Yeah, so we, we all have our own reasons for being here. And you don't have to be a Tai Chi professional, you know. If it's a hobby, it's a hobby. Whatever it is for you, it is for you. I get that. But what I want to know is who who's serious? Who's just here to socialize? That's cool too. Whatever your reason is. I just want to know your reason. And then I'll know how to feed you the information. Because if you're here to learn it all, I'm going to spend more time giving you everything I have. Hey, so group heart to heart. I love you all. Left side. Embrace. Three breaths of air. Heart to heart. Thank you very much. If you're looking for a routine, I'd be happy to help you with that. If it's a hobby, that's cool. Invite more friends, you know. If you're a practitioner and you want to learn the ins and outs of the art, I want to know. I want to know. I want to know about our relationship. You know, you know where I stand. You know where I stand. Absolutely. I love you, Soul Group. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff going on around here. What kind of teas we brewing? What, what kind of tea is that? I forget. Oh, Moringa. Oh, yeah, Moringa. Yes, Moringa. Yeah, our latest adventure is uh, Moringa. We're working on Moringa now. Our own Moringa. Pretty cool. Let's see what's going on out here. Oh, wow, we got stuff drying on top of the cars. So we're getting real ghetto with it. That's all Moringa. So we got a local guy here. He uh, actually grows it. He gave us plenty of clippings. So now we're growing our own and we're also processing our own. Moringa. That's what it is. That's all Moringa. We got it off of the trees. Drying it out, processing it, and we'll be sipping on hot teas. And Moringa has, uh, man, an abundant amount of uh, medicinal value, so you can check that out, man. And I'd be happy to send you some Moringa, man. I'll ship some to you. We'll package it up, no problem. Send it your way. Absolutely. Moringa. Anybody use Moringa? Soul Group? Yeah, you use Moringa, Sister Tracy? Oh, okay, you use the organic tablet form. 
So moringa actually that's the name of the tree. That's that's the name of the tree. And um I believe the whole tree is actually edible. <laughs> At least on drive by. I was I was thinking of that before actually because we had we had it all in the back seat of the car. I'm like, man, the cops pull us over there and think we we're harvesting something we shouldn't have. But it doesn't smell like it, you know. So we should be good. But moringa, yeah, do a Google search, family. It has an onslaught of. Uh, it's supposed to be what they call another superfood. Yeah, it's got so many medicinal values, so many. And it's local, you know, we should always go local if possible. So this is locally grown and harvested by us. We went out and we did some, um, we could actually cut this guy's trees for him. Hey, I love to send you some your way, Sister Audrey. We'll bag up some and send them your way. We'll definitely do that. We'll bag it up and send it your way. Oh, you can pick up some when you get down. You're coming down for 10 days training, right? In next month. Or we'll mail it to you. It doesn't matter. Whatever. It's very light, so it shouldn't be uh, expensive to mail it. Talking about that meringue. Getting some of that out there. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so group, yeah, wonderful session today, man. Um, wow, I got to download that session because that thing was packed with details. I got to download that and put it on the YouTube. Mm -hmm. Now that was packed. Great review material. So Group, I love you all. Uh, thank you all for the financial support, the donations. Thank you so much. I don't take anything for granted. And trust me, it's all being used in a way that is helping us move closer towards having our homestead next year. We've already picked out the property. And man, it's a wonderful story that goes behind it all. But we've already claimed it. Although we haven't purchased it, we've already claimed it as being ours. And um, we're moving forward as, as if it's already ours. I'm looking forward to seeing you all there as well. But we have our, our uh, date set a year from now. We're going um, semi-off-grid semi because we still want to be of service to the local communities there. So we're not going to go completely off-grid. It'll be semi. And we got some wonderful things going on. Hey, I love you, family. Moringa benefits. I'm looking up Moringa benefits now. These are herbals for sure. The benefit. It says the benefits of morning, including protecting and nourishing the skin. Wow. Okay, so my wife could use some of that. She just talking about her skin was a little itchy. Skin and hair. It also helps treat uh, edema. It protects the liver. Wow. So I should. No. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Preventing, I'm, I'm reading this off Google. Also preventing and treating cancer. This is Moringa family. Yeah, we'll ship it to you. Treating, yeah, we, we gotta, yeah, we gotta get the stuff mailed out. Wow. Uh, treating stomach complications, fighting bacterial disease, making the bones healthier. Family, you see what we're doing? That's what we're doing. We're basically, gr we're growing our medicine. Our food is our medicine. Did you know this stuff has so many benefits, man? Wow. I did. It's it's one of the uh, most highly regarded herbals. You know, a lot of people like to talk about. Is it good? For, I didn't know. Things. I didn't know it was good for the liver. That blew me away because we're doing the wood element now. Yeah. You see? <laughs> yeah. Huh. Yeah. This is supposed to be one of the most highly regarded um, quote unquote supplements. Whoa! Look at that. The leaves have seven more, uh, seven times more vitamin C than oranges and 15 times more potassium than bananas. You're encouraging me to drink this tea that I just yeah. drink myself. Hey family, I'm sipping on some right now. Right now. Hey, I like that slam of jam on. No honey or nothing in that. Nope, <laughs> none of it. I like that. Full body mm. medicine, man. We, we, doing, we doing it, man. We, I, I'm going for 150 years, fam. 150 years, 360 So, approach. as I, yeah, I like that. So, as I always say, are we eating to live or are we living to eat? Because there's a lot of good things out here that are also healthy for us that we can consume. A lot. 
I did not know that thing had so much vitamin C, bro. I'm done. I don't want anything else now for vitamin C. <laughs> Straight up. My wife and I were just talking about this. Yeah. Remember, I just had you look up the ingredients. Yeah. Moringa it is. Hey, family, I love you all. Let me know. Yeah, I'll, I'll be happy to ship some to you. It's no problem. Let me know. I'll talk to you soon, fam. And, and it should be relatively inexpensive because, hey, tea is very light. So that's that's a good thing. Lighter, lighter than these t-shirts. <laughs> Peace. I see you all soon. See you uh, a whole week from now. A whole strong from now. We don't say weeks anymore over here. We say strongs. We're changing the language, family. <laughs> We're changing the language. Yeah. I love you. That's still the same. Peace. See you soon. Love you, Sister Pam. Absolutely. <laughs>